Hey folks, I just got ripped off last night. Looked for this truck for 10 years. For a not rotted, not Dayton wheels, not air brake, not stupid, you know, 7, 9.0 V8 Ford or 7.3 or 6.9. Not crappy automatic tranny. Not too long, not too short. A turnkey, just go. No computer. No junkie auto, just a truck that's not gonna be a project. I'd see them all the time, 3,000, 5,000, 6,000, and they were projects. You'd pay what they should be turnkey, in my opinion, and then you'd spend exactly what you paid for it, going through it, and then two years time making it into what you wanted to have it be. And I just never found, so 10 years I looked for this truck, five, nine, 12 valve industrial Cummins with a P7100 P pump, six speed manual, I wanted the low deck height. You can fit taller loads, not worry about catching power lines and stuff like that. It's just so nice. If you had to par buckle a log up the side, it's not 20 feet up in the air. You know, they, they go up easier. I looked for this truck for so long, found it. When I saw it, I knew this thing is gonna sell today. This is the one. It's gonna sell today. And I needed a little bit of time to put the money together. It was already like, oh my God, that's kind of a lot. But I said, I don't have time for a project. This is the thing that suits my needs right now. I've been waiting for so long. Inflation's only gonna make it harder. Rot is only gonna make it harder. Exporters are searching the globe to send these out into the rest of the world. No ECM, no DEF, no bullshit, rebuildable forever, no rust. The world is looking for these in the United States and the United States doesn't make them anymore. So the supply is dwindling. And I said to myself, I have to, it's now or never. I offered the guy, I enticed him with $500 more than he was asking. If the truck was exactly what he says it is, I asked him a bunch of questions. He answered me. I said, I need a truck that can run the interstate for two days straight, 70, 75 miles an hour. He said it goes 75. I find out later he's only had it for four months and I figured out why last night because he probably needed the exact same thing. He said, well, if the bed was just two feet longer, I'd keep it. The guy engineered the situation just right where... I wouldn't be able to look at it in the daylight or on a nice day. So I looked at it in the dark, in the rain, 30 minutes, 40 minutes into this tight little residential area away from the highway. He swears it'll go 75. And I asked him twice before I handed him the money. You serious? Oh yeah, I'll give you my word. I didn't even want to drive this truck home. You know, I, I wanted to say, let me find what's wrong with it. I scoured, I laid underneath, I was soaking wet. I crawled under every inch of this truck looking for that rot hole, looking for that broken cab mount, looking for something that would disqualify me from dragging this truck home. And I couldn't find it. So this is like almost too good to be true. You know that nervousness feeling that you get because you know that you just rounded up a lot of money and now you're saying, am I getting hosed here? Am I, am I dreaming? Is this reality? Am I, do I really want to let go of that huge chunk of money that I really scrambled to put together? And I said, man, this is the one. A year from now, they'll print another massive quantity of cash stimulus for whatever stupid reason. And it'll be $4 for an avocado. But before I find this truck again, this cash will be worth half. So I better just get this one. I better take his word for it because I could not put a load on it and drive 40 minutes to get on the highway to see if it would go 75 like he said. And everything he said looked pretty good. Like he matched up to his story. His questions answered, I verified. You know, I asked enough questions to be able to sniff out, is he, is he a scam artist? Is he a liar? I was at his house. He was a grandfather. I felt like I could trust him at his word. So far, everything matched up. I felt like I could trust him at his word. He's just like me. I get on the highway. It's a 55 mile an hour truck. Wonderful vo vocational local county road truck cannot run the interstate and I can't have a project. You tell me that ain't something special. Those are one inch steel plates underneath those ramps. I'm stunned at the skills of the guy who built this. I'm so aggravated. 
because the damn truck is so good, but I need a truck that runs 75. I'm so aggravated. We end up selling this thing, and in two years, I'm gonna wish we had it back when I have, you know, an excavator, a mini, and, a, and my skid steer back together. I'm gonna be so aggravated, but this is not the truck for right now, and I can't get the right truck if we keep this one. And I can't get into making it a project. I'm just so, so disappointed. I'll do the shifter. The shifter's pretty hard. Clutch is in? Yeah. Okay, all the way in? Yeah. Okay, brake, let off the parking brake. Ease it out. Good, you got it. Now get in the middle of the road. Rev it up a little and then clutch. Oh, whoa, whoa, clutch back in. Pump the clutch all the way to the floor. Ash. Okay, ease it out. I missed I missed the gear. There we go. Don't hit the mailboxes. The middle of the road's over there, Junior. We're just gonna stay in this gear, so just stay at this speed. 